traditional candlestick charts. Yes, they're very useful. However, they lack key information to help us truly understand what is happening in the market. That's why in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a trading tool that I use that helps me gauge overall buying and selling momentum but to also understand where these buy and sell orders are sitting. But real quick, before hopping into the video, if you guys do find value, make sure to smash that like button as well as clicking that subscribe and that bell icon it would mean the absolute world to me. And also, if you have any future content ideas, make sure to leave them down in the comments. But without further ado, let's hop into it. So today we're going to be looking at a tool known as Bookmap. If you want to check it out, I do have a link down in the description. So I've been using Bookmap for around, I want to say like a year and a half to two years now, and it has completely changed the way that I trade. So I want to break down first off, what are we even looking at? And then I want to explain how I use it in my trading. If you guys have seen my previous Bookmap videos, just bear with me. I'm going to do a quick little run through about what's going on on the chart. But as we can see up here, we have this like, dark blue all the way up to red and this color code is telling us how many orders are sitting at a specific area dark blue being very little and dark red being the most amount of orders sitting in that area so typically when i am trading i'm paying attention to anywhere from yellow to this dark red so like this zone right here so what that's telling us is that we have a lot of orders sitting down here and we're going to get to why this is important. But as we can see, we did have a little area up here of sell orders waiting to be filled in the market. And then down here are buy orders waiting to be filled as well. Now, these green and red circles is where price is currently trading. And that's going to be your aggressive buyers or sellers. So these areas right here where we get the yellow, orange, red, dark red, those are going to be limit orders in the market waiting to be filled. So these traders had sell orders sitting at this 52.95 waiting to be filled these buyers down here had orders waiting and sitting at 5270 or like 5271.25 all the way down to 5268.75 waiting to be filled so again these are going to be your limit orders in the market waiting to be filled and the way that you can tell if they're sell orders or buy orders is where price is currently trading so because price was trading below this little area right here these are going to be sell orders waiting to get filled. And because price was trading above this area right here and above this area right here, these are buy orders waiting to be filled in the market. So again, these shaded areas, there are going to be limit orders waiting to be filled. And you can gauge how many orders are sitting in that area, not only by the color code, but also over here on the COB, which is going to be your current order book, you can see that the most amount of buy orders are sitting right here. Now, there's two ways that price can react to these levels. One, the buyers aren't strong enough to push price through it, and it starts to reject, as we can see up here. And down here, the sellers were not strong enough to break it through this area. And what ended up happening, price ended up bouncing. I believe the low today on ES was 5270, which was actually right in this area right here. I had my computer turned off, so it's not going to show me all this data right here. But again, the low today on ES, if you guys want to pull it up on March 27th, it was exactly down at 5270.75 which again was right at this area right here where all those buy orders were sitting. So the opposite side of the market could not be strong enough to push price through. And as a result, we either see a rejection or a bounce. Now, the second scenario is that opposite side is strong enough and pushes price through it. Now, what you're going to notice with these green and red circles is first off, these are going to be your aggressive buyers or sellers, aggressive buyers in the green circles, aggressive sellers in the red circles. These are people that are just buying and selling markets saying, get me in right now. Now, the larger the circle is, the more aggressive the buyer or seller. So if we were to come down to this level right here and the sellers were truly in control, you would see a very large circle eating up all of these limit orders right here and price ends up breaking right through it. So again, your green and red circles are your aggressive sellers. The larger the circle, the more aggressive they are. And these shaded areas are your limit orders. Now, the way that I mainly use Bookmap is watching it when price is trading near my key areas. So when I go through and I do my analysis in the morning, looking for support and resistance, supply and demand, Fibonacci, whatever it may be, I already have levels of interest marked out on my chart. So as price starts trading near my key level, I want to look at Bookmap and see if there's actually any buy or sell order sitting there. 
Reason being, if price is coming down to a demand level, we can visually see in bookmap how many buy orders are sitting in that demand. So say you had a really small demand zone, let's just say at 52.76 to 52.75, well, price comes down to it, there's really not too many buyers there. So that's gonna be a very low probability trade because we don't have many buy orders sitting there. However, say we had a demand zone from 52.71 all the way down to 52.68 and price comes down to it and we're like wow there was a lot of buy orders sitting down here we know that that level is valid and that there is a lot of buy orders sitting in that area so now all we have to do is look for the bullish price action and look for an entry to go long and because this is where your buy orders are sitting you know to stop out if the sellers overtake all of these buy orders right here. So that's the main way that I'm using bookmap is when price is already trading at my key levels. And then I just confirm, are there buy orders sitting here or are there sell orders sitting here? Now, another way that I really like to use bookmap is say I ended up going short today and I was riding shorts to the downside and we just scroll in, we can see that this entire move down, there really wasn't any thick area of buyers. Like we had some here, we took them out and then we ended up moving to the downside. We had a little bit right here, but nothing like alarming that price is gonna bounce. Price starts to push up, but what do we notice? We have a lot of sell orders on the overhead. So if you were still short, you could say, well, okay, if price takes out these sell orders and starts to show strength, I'll exit my short position. So price continues to go down, 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 down. Now from there, what we start to notice is that there is a very thick area of buyers just sitting at this like 52.74 level. So what you could say is, okay, well, this is probably an area that we're gonna bounce. And as we see, price went right down to the level, hit it, it looks pretty much to the point, and it started to bounce back up to the upside. So you could use this as possible trim points as price is coming to these areas where there's a lot of orders waiting to be filled. Or if it's like a very, very thick area like this one down here, you can say, okay, it's probably time to fully exit this position because there's a lot of buy orders right here. I can't tell you the amount of times that I've been in a position and I see that there's actually a lot of buyers or sellers sitting at a level. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna hop out right here. Or there's been a lot of times where I'm looking to get into a possible position, but then I go and look at book map and I'm like, well, I wanna look to go long, but there's a lot of sell orders sitting right above the area I'm looking to go long. Does it really make sense to try a long? And 99% of the time, the trade falls apart and it would have stopped me out. Because I was looking at book map and able to see exactly where those buy and sell orders were, how much there were, I ended up holding off on the trade and kept that money in my account. So book map, again, it's very useful to identify if your key level is important, understanding where you should fully exit your position or at least take a trim, but also helping you avoid trades because a normal candlestick chart, it could confirm your entry. However, book map is showing you not to get into the trade and like i said it's been a very useful tool again i've been using it for like a year and a half to two years and the best way to get good at reading book map is honestly just using it every single day but anyways that's going to wrap up this video on book map again if you guys do want to check it out the link is going to be down in the description and if you do want more book map videos for example live trading using book map and hearing and seeing it in real time comment down below other than that everybody have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next video